تو این نمایش صد در ساعت منطقه شکل شکل خیلی سطحی فکر میکنم نداره یعنی فوری ما شاید نتونیم اینو با با مسائل اجتماعیمون تطویق بدیم ولی همین مکعبایی که من کار کردم Mohammad Hossein Imad is one of Iran's most well-known sculptors. His latest work in wood is being showcased at Tehran's prominent Asar Gallery that was set up 17 years ago. Both the gallery and the artist have survived harsh political times and severe restrictions to rise to international prominence. You can show nudity, you can show arts with very strong political accent, of course you can show that. But uh, it's become better nowadays. It's become better. I don't know really what, what has changed, but you can feel it in the air. Artists are a mirror of their times, the societies they live in, and the politics they are surrounded by, no matter which part of the world they live in. And Iran is, of course, no different. Small new galleries have been cropping up every day in Tehran's downtown cultural hub, reflecting the desires of a society governed by rigid religious constructs to push boundaries. Down the road at the Aran Gallery, Hura Zarbaf, a post-revolution child unlike Imad, is holding her first solo exhibition, inspired by her grandmother's life in 20th century Iran. No matter how uh, crazy it's happening outside, there is also always this you know, inner self uh, in seclusion and having to deal with daily routine mundanes and um, it's always going to remain the same. Nazila Noibashari, who runs Aran, says her family thought she was crazy to open a gallery during the previous Ahmadinejad regime. Nothing in Iran is unpolitical, I would say, because politics is our life. There are simple pieces that you look at and you think no, but then yes. Everyone in Iranian civil society is very brave to rise above their own uh, limitations and limitations that society or the government um, creates. But it's a choice at the end of the day. You can go in, into the street and shout or you can try and um, be critical, to try to change things uh, little by little. Orkide Darudi at the newly opened Gallery O is showing paintings by Berlin-based Iranian expat Ali Nasser, one of Iran's biggest names in the international art world. In his previous work, you could see a lot more violence. You could see um, a lot that could be more um, closely um, related to Iran. Iran today is significantly different from what it was even two years ago. The government has changed. A nuclear deal with the West has allowed more travel to and from the country and the lifting of sanctions is opening up the economy. It's sort of like this dark clouds have lifted off and uh, we can look into future now. I'm very optimistic in general because I need to be. 